Hey everyone, my name is Malika and welcome back to my video. This video is about how I make my very simple overnight oatmeal. I got this idea from the Domestic Geek. I'm not a huge fan of oatmeal, but my husband is. So I make this for him at night so he could have a quick light breakfast or he could take it with him on the go. You have a choice to eat this straight out of the fridge or heat it up. Just make sure you remove the lid first. So stay tuned for my video and enjoy. So for the first oatmeal, you'll need a mason jar with about a half a cup of um, old-fashioned oats. Right now, I'm just pouring in some grounded chia seeds. Now I'm pouring some milk. Um, you can use almond milk, soy milk, whatever milk you want to use. Just pour it up to the very top of the oats. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my Greek yogurt. I'm going to add in just a light layer amount. You can really average this. If you like a lot of yogurt, you can add in as much as you want. I'm just spreading it around, making sure it's evenly layered across the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in some pecans. These pecans that I got have an orange zest to it and it also has cranberries. My husband loves pecans so he likes this in his oatmeal. Now for some sweetness I'm going to add in some brown sugar. Not too much because I don't want to make it way too unhealthy but just a bit to give it a nice sweet flavor. And then now I'm just going to top it off with some strawberries. I sliced this up, um, it didn't come like this. If you want to buy it like this, you can, but I just sliced up the strawberries and I'm just adding it in. And that's about it. Now for my second oatmeal. Um, I already have my old fashioned oats in the mason jar. This recipe is going to be almost the same exact as the first one. I just added in my chia seeds. Now for my milk, again you can use whatever milk that you prefer. This one is just a regular lactose free milk. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my Greek yogurt. Now for the pecans, these are the same pecans that I used in the first recipe that have the orange zest, zest sorry. and these actually do have black pepper in it so it gives it a little bit of spice, like it gives it a little kick to it. It's really delicious and it has cranberries. Here we go with the brown sugar, just a little bit to top it off. And now to finish it up, I'm going to add some blueberries. And that's about it. It's very easy. This is very simple. Anyone can make this. And there you go. Just close it up, put the lid on, and that's it. And now for my last oatmeal recipe, um, we have the same old-fashioned oats in the mason jar. Same again, chia seeds right on top. Now I'm going to pour my milk. Then I'm going to put in a few scoops of the Greek yogurt. And really, like I said, you can really play around with this and try any different toppings. Um, next time, I think I might try and see how my husband likes it with cinnamon or maybe, you know, just spice it up. Just use different toppings. Okay, here I go again with the pecans and the cranberries. Like I said, you can always switch it up. This time I'm not going to use the brown sugar. I'm actually going to use honey and drizzle that right on top of the pecans. Gives it a nice sweet flavor. And this time I'm going to use bananas. And like I said, this is so easy. You can play around with this. You can use any kind of fruits you want. Mangoes. Whatever you want really. It's up to you. But these are little simple easy toppings that I like to do for my husband. And that's about it. Now I'm just going to pop these bad boys right into the fridge and they should be ready to eat the next morning. 
hope you guys really like this video thank you guys so much i'll see you next time bye